Hi, I'm back. Beautiful BC on the island. We're going crab fishing today. This will be a good one. Okay, so here we go. We're leaving the harbor. I guess we're going to follow that guy. Well, at least we get out of the harbor anyway. There's uh, some pretty nice boats here. I'm actually quite amazed. It's just a tiny one now, isn't it? I wonder how often that gets out. Oh yeah, there's definitely the higher rent district in this area. And here we are on the other side of the harbor. I think this is the low rent district. Not that I think there's any low rent out here, but... That's a big one. Well, you really got to like sailing if you're going to buy a boat like that. Okay, here we are. We got Captain Jaff. Hi, Jaff. Hey, buddy. Hey. And he's uh, putting the bait into these little bait traps that are going to go in the cages. Yeah. Ugh. Yuck. I'm not going to do that, Jeff. <laughs> oh, no. Lucky, makes you catch some crabs. Yeah. That's uh, quite the technique for getting the uh, wire through the fish's head. What is that, a Robertson screwdriver? Yeah, yeah, I'm just anything to poke the hole through there. That's the boat rocking, that's not me staggering. This is where the real work happens. You gotta actually pull this thing up by hand. Boom goes the dynamite. Boom! Okay, look at this. What do we got in there? Oh, all kinds of things moving around in there. And look, all the bait's gone. The bait bag is empty. Nice crab, but too small. You gotta go back. Yeah, right there. Find this guy. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Look at that bucket right there behind you. Keep him. These are beauties. Yeah. Nice and hard. Wave. Drop them right there to see a hole in the air. These are gold. Mm -hmm. $45 in trippies for that guy. Wow. We're allowed four crabs each. We both have a, a sporty license, so we're allowed eight crabs off of four well, that's trap good. two traps each. Okay, in goes the bait. I'm the master. <laughs> the master baiter? That's right. <laughs> One. 
one out of that basket. Or trap, I guess it's called. Isn't it? That's what's left over from our chicken. Oh, yeah. Nibble, nibble. Didn't quite get it. They managed to get to that net and everything. Wow. Thanks for that guy. Bait going in. So they, you see, this uh, tuna heads are the best uh, bait you can get for crab. Yeah. It's also the most fucking stinkiest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. This is trap number three. Thank you, famous people. Royal Flush. <laughs> That's the name of the boat. Absolutely beautiful. Fingers are the perfect size, six and a half inches. See how it just sticks out? Yeah, just from this tip to this tip. Yeah. Just a little, see my fingers too long. So they give names to all their floats. This one they named the uh, candy striper. You can see why it's got candy stripes on it. Nothing obvious here. This roof isn't as dirty as the uh, the last one was. one before with the barnacle. Oh, that one's got lots of barnacles on it. Get back in the bucket. Not the females, which is a good sign. They've all just laid their eggs there a little while ago. Snag there, Sean.
fish. <laughs> There's only one in that trap, eh? Oh, two. Too small. There you go. A couple of years we'll get him. Yeah. I think you're a little camera shy. I don't really like being on camera. Yeah, well, give me the finger. Ontario says hi. <laughs> well, hello, Covert, Ontario. And that's a crab. There's some commercial crab fishermen. And apparently, they have to play by different rules than the, uh, the sport fishermen. I can understand why. Wow, the power it takes to make a rooster that big on a boat that big. So, Captain Jeff, was that a was that a good day of crabbing or a bad day That's or? A tough ass, man. I would say that was a successful day today. It's, we got we got our limit, which is eight crab in four pots. There's a lot of females and a lot of younger crab, but. The last eight months out here, it's been a, about the worst crab fishery in almost 40 or 50 years. Wow, really? That's what the local commercial guys are saying, but it looks like they're coming back for whatever reason. They just go hide in the sand and wait out something, but it was definitely a good day. Good. Well, thanks a lot for taking us out. Well, really appreciate it. Tonight. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. After a long day of fishing, coming into the harbor.